Did you know that in recent years, India's sugar exports have soared from $810.9 million to $4.6 billion. The increase is even more significant in quantity terms. During the 2016-17 and 2017-18 sugar years, India's shipments were a mere 0.46 lakh tons and 6.2 liters respectively. They had now zoomed to 110 liters by 2021 to 22. So what explains the surge? Much of the world's sugar trade is in raws and whites. Raw sugar is what mills produce after the first crystallization of juice obtained from crushing of cane. This sugar is rough and brownish in color. Raw sugar is processed in refineries for removal of impurities and decolorization. Till 2017-18, India hardly exported any raw sugar. It mainly shipped plantation white sugar with 100 to 150 ICU MSA value. This was referred to as low quality whites or LQW in international markets. So around mid-2018, a team of officials led by the Joint Secretary Sugar in the Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Suresh Kumar Vashisht and industry representatives visited Indonesia, Malaysia, South Korea, China and Bangladesh. Their mission was to promote exports of raw sugar from India. Raw sugar requires no bagging or containerization and can be loaded in bulk. The buyer here is the refiner and not the end consumer. The refineries in countries mostly imported raws from Brazil. Brazilian mills operate from April to November, whereas our crushing is from October to April. So India created an awareness that during Brazil's off-season, countries can source our raws. The voyage time from Kandla, Mundra or JNPT to the port of Indonesia is 13 to 15 days, compared to 43 to 45 days from Brazil's port. India being the raw exporter for the refineries of the world provided a better time window and freight cost savings. But the delegation also highlighted two specific advantages of Indian raw sugar. First, it is free of dextra, a bacterial compound formed when sugarcane stays in the sun for too long after harvesting. Second, Indian mills could supply raws with a very high polarization of 98.5 to 99.5%. Polarization is the percentage of sucrose present in the raw sugar and a high percentage means it is easier and cheaper to refine. Gradually, the biggest importers of Indian raw sugar were Indonesia, Bangladesh, Saudi Arabia, Iraq and Malaysia. The country also exported 53.71 litres of white refined sugar the leading destinations for which included Afghanistan, Somalia, Sri Lanka, China and Sudan. To put this in context, from being a marginal exporter until five years ago, India has become the world's number two with its shipment of 110.58 litres in 2021-22, to according to the International Sugar Organization.